law taking effect in January will do away with those paper license plates from dealers. It's supposed to make it more difficult for people to abuse those temporary plates. New at 6, as Lynn Ramirez reports, auto dealers say they will pay a price. Those dealer plates that come with a new or used car are meant to be temporary placeholders until permanent metal license plates come in from the DMV. But over the years, those paper plates have become associated with cars and drivers who are using them to cheat at the toll booth or get away with even more serious crimes. You know, avoiding tolls, they're avoiding uh, uh, enforcement cameras, um, things like that. Officer Ross Lee of the San Jose CHP says paper plates have become so abused they can actually now trigger a car stop by officers. Officers. Those are vehicles that we do stop. We do take enforcement action on those just to make sure that, you know, the vehicle is registered, that it's not a vehicle that somebody has purchased and, and then, you know, kept for, you know, five, ten years without registering that vehicle. So it will be just like a license plate. But all that's about to end with the coming of temporary plates that are lettered and numbered just like the permanent ones. License plate before the real ones arrive in the mail. Jeremy Beaver of the Del Grand Dealership Group says his company is gearing up for the change. All new and used vehicles they sell will be required to have the new paper plates. But dealers will take a hit on the missed advertising opportunity. We've built you know, our brand around these yellow license plates driving around uh, town. So 33,000 vehicles a year have these yellow license plates, which we consider our happy car buyers. And so uh, we're going to miss seeing those around town. The new temporary plates will show a 90-day expiration date after the sale of the car and be linked to a DMV database which identifies the registered owner. So what will the new law require? And when it takes place in uh, January, here's the deal. Dealers will have to print a new temporary license plate for the front and rear of the vehicle when it sells a vehicle without license plates. Here's a look at what they will look like. The tag carries a number that will be linked to the DMV database along with the vehicle identification number or QR code, a report of sale number and a 90-day expiration date. The new law does not affect private party sales. The law gives drivers 90 days to install a license plate. Before 2011, drivers had a six-month grace period. We're showing you Steve Jobs because that law was famously exploited by the late Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. He reportedly had a rolling lease with Mercedes-Benz, which would allow him to buy a brand new car every six months and never have to attach a license plate. For more on the changes ahead of the new law taking effect, visit our website, cbs13.com.